Hippolyta, daughter of Ares, was born to be a fierce and powerful warrior. She grew up wearing her father's war belt, also known as a zoster, which was a symbol of strength and power. Her name itself came from the Greek roots meaning horse and let loose, which perfectly described her nature. Despite being only a woman, Hippolyta became the queen of the Amazons, and her story was widely known due to its inclusion in the myths of Heracles and Theseus. In both stories, Hippolyta proved to be a confident and formidable foe in battle. In the myth of Heracles, Hippolyta's belt was the object of his ninth labor. He was tasked with retrieving it from her, but instead, the two fell in love, and she willingly gave him the belt. However, in other versions of the story, Heracles led an all-out attack on the Amazons, resulting in Hippolyta's death. In the myth of Theseus, Hippolyta was a potential bride for the Athenian hero. Theseus led his soldiers to the land of the Amazons to conquer them, but Hippolyta fell in love with him and agreed to marry him. However, on their way back to Athens, tragedy struck, and Hippolyta died a violent death. Regardless of the cause of her death, Hippolyta remained an inspiration to many due to her strength, power, and bravery as an Amazonian queen. Heracles, the son of Zeus, was tasked with acquiring Hippolyta's belt as his ninth labor. King Eurystheus sought the belt for his daughter, Admedi. Heracles set out on his journey and eventually landed on the shore where the Amazons resided. As he disembarked the ship, Hippolyta approached him. She was impressed by Heracles and believed him to be a noble hero on a noble quest. Hippolyta admired his strength and was intrigued by his charming manner. She gladly gave him the belt, and Heracles was grateful for her generosity. However, trouble was brewing. The goddess Hera had orchestrated a plan to thwart Heracles' success. Disguised as an Amazon, Hera spewed rumors that Heracles intended to capture Hippolyta and enslave the rest of the Amazons. The mischievous goddess wanted to see Heracles fail because she despised him for being a demigod. The rumor quickly spread, and the Amazons were outraged. They attacked Heracles and his crew. A fierce and bloody battle erupted. Heracles fought bravely, but the onslaught was too much for him to handle. In the confusion of the battle, he accidentally killed Hippolyta. The Amazons were infuriated by the death of their queen, and they retreated in defeat. Heracles secured the belt, but he was deeply saddened by what had transpired. He mourned the loss of Hippolyta and blamed himself for her death. Nonetheless, he completed his ninth labor, adding another praiseworthy achievement to his heroic reputation. In the famous myth of Theseus, the tale of his encounter with Hippolyta has been told and retold in many different versions. One version says Theseus abducted Hippolyta after a battle, while another suggests that he was given her as a spoil of war by Heracles. However, there is also a version where Hippolyta falls in love with Theseus during the encounter and willingly leaves the Amazons to be with him. Together, they make their way to Athens, where they get married. This causes unrest among the Amazons as they are not happy about Hippolyta leaving them. It eventually leads to the Attic War, where the Amazons attack Athens and fight against Theseus or Heracles. There are many different versions of what happens next. In some stories, Theseus puts Hippolyta aside to marry Phaedra, leading to Hippolyta rallying the Amazons to attack the wedding ceremony. In other versions, Hippolyta is killed by Theseus during the battle, or accidentally killed by her sister Penthesilia in a separate incident. To make things even more complicated, some ancient writers suggest that the Amazon involved in the story was not Hippolyta at all but rather her sister Antiope, Melanippe, or Glossy. Despite all the differing accounts, there is a tale that suggests Hippolyta later bears Theseus a son, Hippolytus of Athens. Despite all the versions of the story, one thing is for sure, the tale of Theseus and Hippolyta remains a captivating and enduring myth. Hippolyta was excitedly preparing for her upcoming wedding to Theseus, Duke of Athens. As the Queen of the Amazons, Hippolyta was known for her fierce yet graceful nature, and had been won over by Theseus with his sword. 
Now, he promised to marry her in a grand celebration full of pomp, triumph, and revelry. Interestingly, Shakespeare's portrayal of Hippolyta was based on historical accounts from Plutarch's parallel lives. According to Plutarch, Hippolyta was the one who ended the conflict between Athens and the Amazons by signing a peace treaty, which led to her marriage to Theseus. In another play by Shakespeare and John Fletcher called The Two Noble Kinsmen, Hippolyta's character is shown as being tamed by a lovesick king. However, in A Midsummer Night's Dream, Hippolyta is a powerful and independent queen who is nobody's subject. She is a force to be reckoned with, and her strength and grace make her a prominent figure in the play. With her wedding just four days away, Hippolyta is ready to embark on a new chapter of her life with Theseus by her side. Do you want to explore more Greek mythology stories? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.